I think. Waiting for this thing to indicate that it's... Yes, it's live. Okay. We're good. Oh, right. We already did that. <laughs> Let's go talk to Samara. Probably gotta talk to Thane. Unless I already talked to him. No, I don't think I did. Let's talk to Thane first. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. We can discuss it later, then. I have other duties I need to attend to. Of course. I'll return to my meditations. Shepard. Um, apparently that Is there something it. wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. Cold. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long's it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. All right, you spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by um, despair or fear, that when the pickle is a uh, the alternate is appearance pack or something. It's, it's no longer whole. A hundred and some odd bioware points, but. I got it because I had leftover points. Blah, blah, blah. I like it. <laughs> Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. Maybe he name dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Banker store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. 
Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Alright, uh, talk to Samara now. Yay! Okay. I have so many loyalty missions to do now. <laughs> I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Cry me a river. Sounds terrible. 
I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. You either get stuck in your past or forget it and move on. I am not stuck in my past. I am out to rectify it. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. I'm an asshole. <laughs> uh, cry me a river. Let us go. Uh, Ross. What's up? Oh, I already did that. I'm gonna go change my armor color. I'm kinda tired of pink now. for purple people eaters. <laughs> No, I was in my bathroom messing with my hair because, you know, hair, awesome. Whatever. Anyways, and I heard the wind going and I was like, what? <laughs> it's kind of crazy wind out there. Shepard, our data indicates the tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. There we go. I'm having serious issues with my shields. So we'll fight from the shade, but no hiding. Incoming dropship. I hit that thing. What the hell? Die. <laughs> ah, that was nice. Ah. I one hit. God, curious. Get my way. a waste of bullet. We 
should find an alternate path. We're roasting out here. Concussive shot, scratch one! Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I'm afraid I don't see any Quarian survivors here. Damn. Wait. Shepard. Inspector Tally worked with. Oh, don't know why you're here, but right now any organic is a welcome sight. Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun is going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Dropships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. What's your current position? Bunker down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizor at a secure shelter that doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in! Go! Ah. Ah. 
everything. It's everywhere. We need a core sample to get a timeline on the rate of radiation increase, but our equipment keeps dying on us. Shepard wants to use the mining layer to do the rubble. one way. Tally, for I am yeah. Who loves Tally? Show of hands. Tally. Hello? Is anyone there? T 
Tally, it's Shepard. Shepard? I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest times. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? We can talk about it later. What's your status? Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Oh, all right. We've been spotted. Machines, cowards! The drones can hide! Yes! Marines, we talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Tally's inside over there. The guests killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many guests are out there? The guests are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, None of my men made it past the Geth. The middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. 
The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. It probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shield. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Good luck, Rieger. Let's go shoot some Geth. Keep us alive. Say hi to Tally for me. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. A lot of Corians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Ah, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Yay. 
Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. Pretty sure that was a death glare. <laughs> Let's go talk to Tally. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley... Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Let's turn I hear in. that Rupert is actually cooking some. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skilly and Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. Nice playing, Commander. Did Shepard's teasing throw off your game? You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> poker face. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls club kind of person. I like you, alright? That's a good place to stop. 
Okay. <laughs> You too. I'll be right back. I'm Commander, just gonna. you've received a new message at your private terminal. Restart the stream so that I'm not running like five hours from now. <laughs> right back. <laughs> 